Hi, I'm Andrew. And I'm Dave, and we are the IB English guys. Uh, first thing I wanted to remind you guys is that we have a website uh, that this guy uh, created, and we're really proud of it. We hope it's useful for you with lots of resources. All the YouTube videos are there. Every YouTube video has a, has a link to a resource, and we've got exam review materials uh, that I think will be really useful for you. So check it out. Yeah, definitely check that out. But Mr. Giles, today we want to talk about the individual oral. Uh, we have been listening to, what, about 50-plus yeah. recordings here in the last couple of weeks. And as examiners, we have some tips uh, that we'd like to share with you, some things that we've noticed in our student recordings that we think can help you improve your recordings. Yeah, so this is fresh off fresh off our I.O. season, and just uh, we just wanted to make a video when it was just fresh in our minds, like, hey, what are our takeaways? So our first takeaway is choosing the right extract is so important. We need to think carefully about the extract we choose, that it fits that global issue clearly, that it's a significant moment in the text, and the extract is really rich in in stylistic features that we can unpack. So the right extract really made a difference, I think, in a lot yeah, of bios. Yeah, definitely. Now, folks, once you've chosen the right extract, you have to make sure that you situate that extract and summarize a bit of that extract for the examiner. Remember, you've ripped a page out of your body of work or your uh, or of your literary text, and the examiner's not quite sure where that's come from. So make sure you quickly summarize what's in that passage and situate that and let that know, let the examiner know how that fits into the work or the body of work. Yeah, that's right, Mr. Cohen. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's again, even though I was a teacher of those works, it really helped. It helped show me that the student really knew that work and they were able to understand the context of that particular extract. Next thing is watching the clock is so important. And I know that we talk about this in the videos all the time and we talk about structure and that might be, you know, we can nitpick and be upset with the, the rigid structure, but students that watch the clock and really had a really mindful idea of how they maintain the balance between the extract and the work as a whole and how they maintain the balance between the two texts, the clock was really the kicker. So make sure your teacher has an iPad or something where the times will be visible or have your own and ask the teacher if it's okay because the clock matters. Yeah, the clock does matter. You'll feel better about the clock if you are indeed an expert on both the extracts and the authors that you're working with. Uh, when we see me, say mean, be an expert, we mean really have command of all the words in your extract. No interesting details about your author and the extract and the works that link to that global issue. So make sure you're an expert. You've done your due diligence. You've done some outside research. You truly are ready to deliver the goods and show all your knowledge. Yeah, that's great, Mr. Cohen. All right, the next one we like is just, just like talk to your teacher. You know, you're having a conversation. And we had a conversation with a student, and then that student was asking for advice because they were having the I.O. With, the, with another teacher. And we're like, hey, make sure you, like, talk to that teacher. And, you know, maybe look him in the eye once in a while and have a conversation. That's easier said than done because you're nervous and you have a lot of information to transmit. But just remember, your your teacher and the examiner on the other end is, is listening to you. Yeah, so. we find students who just stare at the microphone aren't really delivering with intentionality. If you look at your teacher, you tend to be communicating in a more natural way. So definitely look at your teacher and think about talking to your teacher. Uh, the next tip we have, the next piece of feedback and upon reflection is use the words global issue frequently throughout the individual oral. Mr. Giles, why is that so important? Well, it is the backbone of the I.O. And of course, you know your global issue and you think you're repeating it over and over again. But I think using the phrase global issue uh, is why. So you just saying like, and this again links back to my global issue that I think that really helps. Yeah, you might wake up a sleeping examiner as well. So that's yeah, important. I just think it shows that you're on top of that global issue. Definitely. So it's not it's not bad to use that phrase now and then. Uh, the ne I think it's um, the next one is nuances and details. What's that mean, Andrew? Mr. Giles, you know, if you want to talk about you know gender equality, there's a very general answer you can give, and those typically score in the five band. But if you want to take a global issue and truly say something interesting and hit those higher mark bands, you need to show deep insight and look at nuances in the text. You know, think about what have I seen in my research? What have we talked about as a class? Or what have I discussed with my teacher that can really push me to those further mark bands in terms of A and B? Show insight, show nuance, look for those details. That's the interesting stuff to discuss during the I.O. Yeah, read between the lines. Talk about implications. I mean, that's what we talk about with paper one, the implications of the text. That's great. The last thing is to leverage your outline. And we'll have another video where we talk about how to write the outline. But I think just having a good outline that has the phrases and the sort of nuggets of, of text that you want to talk about, that outline is almost like a cue card. And so every time you look down at your outline, you can, it can cue you of what to talk about next. 
Again, we don't recommend writing a script where you're memorizing a script. The outline is what's helping you, right? And that's gonna help you remember all the pieces of your IO. Yeah, there's not really a one size fits all strategy for outlines. We all have different things we need to remember. We that's all right. need different types of cues. So that should be quite unique for every student. Folks, in the end, we hope this examiner's reflection helps you. Uh, we hope that we've shared a few insights and tips that we've noticed with our students. Don't forget on our website, we have tons of other IO resources and materials. Let us know what you need. Uh, keep on watching the channel and we will try to lead you to IO success. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Thanks guys.